All right, what's going on guys? Trader Cause here, and this is gonna be an update video on Bitcoin and Forex, and I'll probably touch on SPX and gold as well. So uh, we're kind of gonna go over everything. Um, Monday close happened, let's see, about an hour and a half ago for Forex, and we get the daily close for Bitcoin in an hour and 20 minutes. Also, I apologize in advance if my voice sounds a little off. Um, I've been a little under the weather the last couple days. Um, but with that being said, let's get right into this. So Bitcoin, higher time frame perspective. Uh, we'll just go to the daily. That should be good. Um, as you guys know, we're just still chopping around in this range. Um, I have this daily SR level marked, which is that low. Um, and actually, I think I have it anchored off the four hour, but yeah, there we go. So that low, the last down move before um, that up move, and that's kind of where I was looking for my shorts, or at least to start building the position. Um, so we caught an entry at 9,710, and then also 9,765. What I'm looking for now is a breakdown below 9.6K. If we get that, I'm gonna move my stop loss to right here, um, or whatever the, like if we push up again and then break down, then I'll move it up there, whoa. Then I'll move it up there. So whatever our high is after breaking down, then I will be more confident that our high is in. Um, and I'll tighten the stops, reduce risk, which would be almost break even for this one, and then I'll probably look to add um, even a little more size on after we break down. So um, that's kind of my plan for Bitcoin. Targets, I would say 9.4 is a good initial target um, because that is where, I mean, sorry for the sniffles too. My nose is a little runny. Um, so this consolidation is what led to this up move and a retest of that um, wouldn't, necessarily be out of the question like we could retest that and then continue up and so i'll probably be looking to book some partial profits around there um but from a higher time frame perspective i would like to target this weekly sr um on this trade and that is anchored off of here way back there um and you can see our interactions with that level have been really clean. Resistance there broke through, held for a little, flipped it, resistance, support, and you know, now we're kind of hanging out. Um, we've tested it, or at least we've been trading around it once, twice, three times. Um, so it is possible that the next time we touch it, we just go down even further, but that is my initial target for this trade. Um, I don't expect it to play out in just the next couple days. It'll probably take some time, but that's okay. We can be patient with it. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to bring up here, <coughs> excuse me, is we just cleared out all this liquidity on the top. Um, and now the vast majority of our liquidity is to the downside. Um, and so that also adds into why I think the next move will be down. That doesn't mean this can't still be bullish, right? I mean, we could get something like this and then keep going up. We could even go down to test this weekly SR and then push up from there. You know, who knows what's going to happen, but we'll take it one day at a time. Um, and this is the position I'm in. So moving on to SPX. Um, <clears throat> so we have this level marked in black right there, which has been kind of pivotal. You could even anchor it off back here. Um, so it's we've had some really good SR from there. And then this is last week's range, I think, maybe the week before that. Yeah, week before that, or no, not even. It's a little different. Okay, that is June's high and June's low. There we go. It's our current monthly range. So um, the mid range and the SR level have some nice confluence initially. I was thinking if we get something like this, we could look to short, um, but I wanted to see a little bit more price action. Um, starting this week, I think I was looking for a move above 
and then a deviate or a move above a move above trade back below and then short but um i'm kind of open to whatever right now we have just been consolidating right here if we break structure out of these highs i think we trade to 3 to 30 or so um, i think a pullback to 3090 could be a buy um, because that is support like we kind of lost it but i think that'll just be a deviation um, and then ultimately i think we could go up there if that sets up and then on the other hand if we lose that or if i mean you can see we're trading in something like this so if we get something like that then we could look to short it back down and just play the range for however long um, it decides to be in this in this range uh, moving on to gold i am bullish on gold um, there was a nice sr flip right there but nothing really triggered for me um, this was monday's range from last week i believe um, yeah monday's range from last week um, which was a pretty pivotal uh, resistance a bunch of times finally flipped it but if we come back um, to that area i think we long this targeting 1800 um, but keep an eye on this high uh, for a sweep but overall my bias is bullish on gold um, and if we don't get that entry maybe it just comes down here and ranges for a bit but then if it breaks above this high sorry that got really ugly if it breaks above this high we can look to trade it from 1765 up to 1800 eight, sorry 1800 um, on to the next we're long Oh, nice. Got a little bit of a pump there. So we have these equal highs here. Uh, this mid-range has been pretty pivotal. We swept these lows, got back above it. Ideally, I would have wanted an entry around 106.5, but that didn't work out. I didn't catch it in time. Um, but we got a nice entry. Weekly open is nice um, confluence around that mid-range too. So expecting this to keep pushing up. Um, <coughs> I do think Kiwi could see some more downside, and we'll get to that soon. But um, yeah, this is a position we're currently in. Um, I posted a screenshot of it on Twitter with my Prime XBT screenshot, show you guys I'm in it. Um, but yeah, not a lot to say about this one other than just going to be patient and let this play out for a bit. Um, CAD yen. I'm bullish on this high time frame, but um, there's not a lot for me to do yet. Um, <clears throat> this black level is that previous low, and we're holding it as support, but I don't want to just blindly long right there. Don't know what that is because I don't really have an invalidation. Um, but now, if we can get above this 79,478, I would look for some longs, um, and maybe we just keep ranging here for a while. So nothing. Uh, in the near term really that I think will happen on this it'll take some time to play out but we'll keep an eye on it uh, euro pound euro GBP um, so this is looking pretty clean I'm excited about this trade for this week um, the daily I have this dotted line uh, anchored over here which was the top before our massive sell-off I just want you to know where that is anchored and also all the confluence that's coming around these levels so we have June's monthly open right there um, this was the first week of June's weekly range so we swept the low swept the high came back to the mid-range swept the high again mid-range hold mid-range and now we're kind of breaking out or so it would seem um, but personally I think uh, we'll see some downside here I mean if this can hold then I will look to play it up but I kind of lean towards this breaking back down. Uh, and if it does, we will look to short it. So I want to at least get below this green level. Um, but the more confluence, the better. And so I think under that is what I'll be looking for. Um, and then we'll play it from there and see what happens. But I think this could be a really nice trade, at least down into this mid-range um, 
and if this was a little fake out because you can see we've been ranging here for a while if this just was a fake out above um, we could even come down to there <clears throat> so maybe take out those lows it did sweep it but these are more or less equal lows um, but we'll see could be a really nice move shaping up there um, I think I have some stuff on here oh yeah um, well this is already starting to take off again but if this does pull back I would be looking for it around here um, so far I mean it doesn't really look like it wants to pull back um, we've also kind of broken out from this weekly downtrend um, but this came back really quick and so that worries me a little bit um, but we'll see this could I mean this kid thing could really start going if it's bullish and there will be plenty of opportunities to hop on board right now the only one I see is a pullback down to that level if we don't get that I'll look later um, but I'm watching that on euro yen GBP USD uh, this one's also starting to take off a little bit without me so I had this blue level marked and it ended up catching that pretty perfectly um, but I didn't set limits in hindsight it would have probably been a good call to set limits with a wider stop down there but all good we'll look for our lower time frame entry um, so we tapped into that once we broke above this high is when I started looking for retraces but right now it doesn't really look like it wants to retrace much um, it retested those old highs and is starting to push up again but um, we'll see what happens I'd still be interested in a pullback if we get it um, NZD CAD is interesting to me um, it's just been consolidating here for a while for about two weeks and I think after that long of consolidation we should get a pretty big trending move and it looks kinda similar to this um, so if we flip this or even close an H4 candle above I would think we'd be getting some upside um, this looks kinda funny because it gapped down and then shot right back up um, and alternatively if we lose that low then I think we come back to around eight five six um, and then lastly I'm uh, after this got rejected off that SR level weekly SR right there here I'll show that to you guys I'll hide this too it's basically just this level right here um, <coughs> excuse me if we or sorry so we rejected off that I was looking for a break below here to look to get short um, that didn't end up happening so far but I also would look for a short in this general region um, and then break back below that weekly SR level and that would give me um, some nice confluence for this trade maybe sweep that high get back below and then even more confirmation will be <coughs> uh, getting back below that mid-range um, so that's pretty much it I hope that video was helpful if you want to trade any of these Forex or commodities or SPX um, you can do so on Prime XBT I put a link in the description and you can get 50% off fees or a 50% um, deposit bonus if you sign up and then put in one of the promo codes I'll put those both in the description though um, hope this video is helpful feel free to leave me any feedback positive negative whatever you guys want but um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one